Hi there, welcome to another video in my series on percentages. And in this video, what I'm going to be looking at is how we convert a proportion to a percentage. Now, to do this, I've got three examples here, and I'd strongly encourage you to have a go at this last one. Now, in this first one, the answer is pretty obvious. I'm sure many of you will know what it is, but uh, I want to run through this just to demonstrate a technique. What we've got here is what is 10 out of 20 as a percentage? Now, 10 out of 20, you could get 10 out of 20, for instance, in a test. If you've got 10 out of 20, it's the equivalent of getting half right. And half as a percentage is 50%. We think of it as being half of 100. But if I didn't know what it was, then it's important to be able to set this out as a sum. So that sum is 10. And this phrase here, out of, let's just highlight that, just put a squiggle there. Out of means to divide. 10 out of in this case, 20. 10 out of 20, which cancels down to a half. 10 into 10 goes 1, 10 into 20 goes twice. So we've got 10 out of 20, and then we want to find out what this is, half in other words, of 100. Of, remember, is to multiply. So it's of 100. We've got half of 100, and there's many ways that we can work this out. We could do 1 times 100, which is 100. And then this is all divided by 2 times, effectively, a 1 underneath the 100. Just simply 2. 100 divided by 2 is 50. OK? And as I say, if you didn't know what this was, you could always just type this into a calculator and it would work it out for you. But I'd like to think that it was a basic one. Now, I've got another example here. And in this example, I want to demonstrate another point. We've got here, in a recent football match between Rovers and United, Rovers scored three goals and United scored five. What percentage of goals did Rovers score when compared to the total? Well, in this example, what I'm using is this phrase here, compared to. Very similar to the phrase, out of. So let's just write an intro for this. We're looking for the percentage then. And what we've got is that we've got to compare Rovers score with the total number of goals scored. Well, the total number of goals scored was 3 and 5, which is 8. So we've got to do 3 compared with 8. And we use a division again. I could have said 3 goals out of a total of 8 goals. Still a division. And then we've got to convert this to percentage. So we need to have 3 eighths of 100. And for this, there's several ways that we could do this sum. You could do it directly on a calculator, 3 divided by 8 times 100. Or you could even do 3 times 100, which is 300, and then divide it by 8. Remember, it's 8 times the 1 that's under the 100. You could cancel this down or do it on a calculator. You could divide top and bottom by 2, for instance. 2's go into 300 150 times, and 2 goes into 8 4 times. This would be useful if it was a non-calculator paper, for instance. We could cancel again. We could say 2's go into both 150 and 4. Let's just cancel it in red now. 2's into 150 goes 75 times, and 2's into 4 goes twice. So you could do 75 divided by 2, which is 37 and a half. The answer is 37.5%, whether you do it on a calculator or whether you do it like this. Okay, well, as I said earlier, 
got an example here which I'm sure you're going to need a calculator for. It's not going to be as easy to work out as, say, this one here. So we've got here three students in a class of 28 had flu and were absent. What percentage were absent? So I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. Do have a go at that. And when you come back, you can check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, put an intro down here. I'll just abbreviate the word percentage. OK, we'll put it there. Percentage that were absent. So the percentage that were absent was three students out of 28. Notice I'm using that phrase out of again. So it's three students out of 28. It doesn't feel right to say three compared with 28 or 3 compared to 28, although it's not wrong. I prefer out of. 3 out of 28 students then. So it's that fraction of students which were absent and then we want to know what that fraction is of 100. And to do this I could do 3 times 100 which is 300 and then divide by 28. I could do 3 divided by 28 on the calculator, then times by 100. Either way, it doesn't matter. Just check it out. You should find you get 10.714 and so on. And let's round this, say, to one decimal place. It will be 10.7%. And we'll just state the accuracy as 1 dp, one decimal place for short. So don't forget then... Remember that phrases like out of, compared with or compared to, what we do is we divide. And we use that concept here, here and here. And then we're finding out what that fraction is of 100 by multiplying by 100. So do try and remember this particular process. We'll be coming back to it several times over in later tutorials. Okay, well thanks for listening and I hope you found that of some value.